The head of USAID is planning to travel to Iraq to meet with leaders of Christian and other minority communities devastated by ISIS. Administrator Mark Green says he'll report back with a plan to accelerate aid to those in greatest need. Joining me now is Nina Shea, Director of the Center for Religious Freedom at the Hudson Institute. Welcome back to the program, Nina. Great to be with you. We've heard that, you know, since October, that aid to Christians and Yazidis communities, they're on the way, it's on the way. It's is, on the way for real now, <laughs> is it? Told. Is there any well, indication at this point that they're actually getting that money? You know, Vice President Pence is making a valiant effort to lead in getting aid to the Christians and the Yazidi communities who were attacked by genocide mm -hmm. by ISIS. And the bureaucracy has not cooperated until now. The bureaucracy has not followed. He has given orders and directives, as you said, since October, mm -hmm. and tried to make this happen. And this time he has ordered the head of the agency, the aid agency, USAID, to go there and meet with the heads of these religious communities, and that's what he's doing. So a lot of talk. This is, I think he was, in a sense, taken to the woodshed by the vice president, and I think that he's under pressure now to perform. As you know, Catholic Relief Services is one of the groups on the ground there helping to try to rebuild. What are some of the most urgent needs for the Christians there right now? Well, the Christians need a lot of help, but they, uh, on, on a, a large scale, uh, because ISIS took everything they had. They were skilled people. They had small businesses. They were farmers. They were successful. They had cars and air conditioning. They had a modern life. But uh, ISIS destroyed all that and took everything. They need help getting back on their feet more than anything. They need sustainable uh, jobs. They, they, they can't, I mean, Catholic Relief Services is going to have to uh, bridge the gap until that economy uh, kicks in. Mm -hmm. But they do need a way to earn their own living. They need seed money uh, to, to buy the equipment if they had a beauty salon or a dental office. They need to get the, to buy those tools that they need to carry on their business. You and I have talked about how there's great concern that time is running out for Christians in the region. What do you think Mark Green, because speaking about him, and the administration need to know about life for Christians in the Middle East right now, and what do you think they'll find when they go? Yeah, well, they're going to find a vastly reduced population, only about half, less than half, the Christians who came from Nineveh four years ago, driven out by ISIS or killed, are back there. So um, it's a vastly reduced. It's a, it went from 1.4 million in 2003 to under 200,000 now crazy in the number. entire yeah. country of Iraq, and they're demoralized. And they're, they've been hanging on, thinking that they could just go back to their villages, everything will be good. And they get back, and they realize there's nothing there for them, and there's still no hope after, help after four years. I mean, they, they have not gotten U.S. support for the last four years since ISIS attacked them. Yes, Catholic Relief Services has been getting aid all along, uh, but their aid to the actual Christian community has been rather sporadic. It hasn't been steady. It hasn't been like the UN has given to other populations, and the UN hasn't given them anything. Uh, they were told by the UN, if you want our help, you've got to come into our camps, and their camps are infiltrated by ISIS, so they wouldn't go. Not one Christian would go to a camp run by the UN. They've been dependent on the local churches. And that's what Mike Pence, that's what Vice President Pence promised back in October, mm -hmm. that these local religious communities would get direct help from the U.S. Hopefully this is what's going to happen this week, and they're going to begin to, pull, you know, let mm -hmm. the, the, the money flow. That's what we really need. We don't need more yeah. speeches. We need the money to okay. flow. We'll be following to see how that develops. Dina Shea, Director of the Center for Religious Freedom at the Hudson Institute, thanks so much. Thank you.